My name is Christopher Weiss and I'm principal of Riverside School in Greenwich, Connecticut. About two and a half years ago, we started implementing a program here uh, focusing on innovation. Uh, we were a one-to-one -one iPad school, phase one in the district that eventually is going one-to-one -one district wide this September. And as part of that preparation and starting to use the iPad, so we decided to try some new innovative approaches to our educational practice. Maybe you haven't heard of Genius Hour, but it is a, uh, an activity or you can see it in lots of schools across the country and I heard about it uh, through uh, different websites and through Twitter and it really got me excited about introducing it here at my school. So I uh, introduced it to our staff uh, this past September, uh, got them involved and uh, they uh, got to be excited about producing our first video that we introduced Genius Hour to the kids. And basically the idea was that we would set aside time, uh, initially an hour every other week, uh, for students to do something that they could just work on on their own, something that they would just be really excited to be working on. Maybe they wanted to develop a model of something that they thought was really interesting in the world. Maybe they wanted to learn about different types of animals. Maybe they wanted to learn how to code or learn how to create a business or learn how to build a mechanical arm, uh, some robotic arm. Maybe it was, uh, as one student developed, a pressure sensitive pen that uh, grip, when you gripped it, it told you with a little light if you were gripping it too hard to loosen your grip uh, so that you wouldn't get a cramp in your hand. Maybe it was uh, you wanted to develop a uh, t-shirts that were dyed with natural vegetable dye instead of artificial dye uh, in colors. Um, that was developed here at the school. Uh, maybe it was a uh, idea of just a project that you had never thought of before and that's what happened throughout the building. So it was a very exciting year for us as we developed this Genius Hour project K through five, uh, school wide, and maybe you can do that at your own school. It's really part of a project where we're building an innovation space in our, our library, where we have robotics and electronics and 3D printing. Uh, we created a STEM fair uh, to expand our science fair that allowed us to take these Genius Hour projects and produce them and share them with uh, the whole community. And uh, all three of those things working together really created a great innovative experience for the students at our school. So one example, as I mentioned before, was this pressure sensitive pen. A uh, third grade uh, wonderful uh, student uh, created this pressure sensitive pen. She created a prototype. She brought it to our STEM fair, uh, introduced it to the whole community, um, and people got to try it out. And uh, we actually had a combination, a connection with the high school innovation lab uh, here in Greenwich. And they came over and saw both our Genius Hour early in the year and then our STEM fair later in the year. And they were really impressed by the practices that were taking place here. One of the greatest inventions I saw this past year was an injury-free ice skating dress. So a second grade student uh, decided to develop this injury for your ice skating dress by a certain material that she found online and if you make it out of this material it's supposed to uh, reduce the impact up to 90 percent if you were to fall on the ice and to avoid injuries of skaters. So I thought that was a great idea. And I even saw a student who created a safer crosswalk uh, near schools and he had developed and researched the whole project and he had built a model uh, that demonstrated a safer crosswalk with innovative practices. So Genius Hour and a whole focus on innovation can lead to tremendous changes in uh, the students' uh, excitement level and intrinsic motivation. It also can create fantastic ideas that need to be shared with the world. If you create Genius Hour in your, your school, just imagine what could be shared with the world if the students were able to do this. The things that were created here were just done in this past year. And if you did it in your school, imagine the thousands and thousands of student ideas that could come to fruition and change the world for the better.